Welcome back crew, my name is Ryan Angel and this is Gordon Lazzaroni. And what we're talking about today is lighting ratios. Now it is a very basic principle to learn, but is super practical whenever you're doing portrait photography. Lighting ratios are the relationship between highlight, the highlights and the shadows in your photograph or in your scene, and it is essential to get to know them as they are part of the language of photography. It's how we learn to shape light and to start to reveal texture and form, and uh, uh, it just getting to know how to deal with and manipulate ratios are going to help you improve the look of your photograph as you go forward. Right, so let's define what lighting ratios are. And it simply is four variables to consider. A one-to-one -one ratio is no difference between your shadow side and your highlight side. And a two-to-one ratio is there'll be, there's one stop difference between the highlight and shadow side. And a four-to-one ratio is two stop difference between your shadows and your highlight side. And an eight-to-one ratio is a three stop difference between your highlights and shadow side. All right, so let's explain that a little bit further. So let's take a two to one ratio, which is a one stop difference. I have my key light and potentially a fill light. So my key light, I would want to probably, let's say I want to shoot at 5.6, right? I'm getting the meter and I'm getting a reading off of that, 5.6. So therefore, my, shadows, my shadow side should be f4. That's right. That means that you would need one stop more of light to balance that shadow side with the highlight side, but in this case, you're essentially underexposing the shadow side, so you get that ratio. At this point, we're going to demonstrate how to meter for your ratios so that you can see exactly what uh, the light is doing. So, with your handheld meter, who you already are familiar with, correct, Ryan? That's <laughs> correct, they should be. Um, so I'm gonna meter the this side of the cheek, and it's, F8, all we're concerned about is the f-stop here, okay? So now I'm in a... Now one thing to note is you want to meter your key light first, first and foremost. Exactly. Always meter your, your main light because it's going to give you your overall exposure. In one-to-one, -one, then they'll be the same. And here we have f8 on the other side of the cheek. So that means the light is flat. There's no differentiation between the shadows and the highlights. So that would be a one-to-one -one ratio. So now I'm going to demonstrate a two to one ratio and show you what it looks like on the meter. So we have, once again, on the highlight side of the face, F8, right here. If you can see, oh, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna come over to the shadow side and meter that, and now we're at F5, 6. So that means there's a one stop difference, and you can actually see it in Ryan's face. There's starting to become a shadow side over here, and the highlight side is over there is still the same. So we're starting to shape the light now around his face and starting to get some dimension. One stop is very subtle, uh, but it's also uh, starts to show the directions. Now I'm going to demonstrate a four to one ratio, which is a two stop difference between the highlight side of the face and the shadow side. So we'll meter again, once again, and it's still F8 on Ryan's highlight side. Cross over here to the shadow side, and you'll see now it's F4. So that's two stops. You go from F8 to 5.6 to 4 is a two stop difference between the highlight and the shadow side. And you can really start to see now how his face, the light is starting to shape his face. You can see the shadow off the nose is more uh, pronounced now and the actual shadow side of his face is starting to get a little darker. And you can, you know, if you really look at this, you can start to see that the face becomes more three dimensional and uh, starts to have a little more personality to the light. So now I'm going to meter for a 8 to 1 ratio, which is a three stop difference from the highlight to the shadows. So once again, I'll point the meter at the main light or the key light and it reads F8. And I'll come over here and meter the shadow side of Ryan's face and I get F28. So F28 is three stops from F8 because you have F8, F5, 6. F4 and F28. So that's three stops between the highlight and the shadow side. And now you can really start to see uh, how light ratios and paying attention to those will start to shape your light and create a more dimensional look. All right, just to recap, lighting ratios is simply the difference between your key light and your fill light, if any, or no light. Uh, and we measure that using stops, right? One stop difference, two stop difference, or three stops. And it can go beyond that, but I find that 
within that range, you're, getting, you're already creating uh, dynamic and shape in, in a portrait. And you're also then keeping detail. As your ratio starts to increase, you'll uh, start to lose detail in the shadow side, which is great if that's a creative decision you've made and you don't want any and you want a super dry, dramatic photo. But, and one other thing I want to say is this is, doesn't just apply to faces or to portrait photography or to lighting people. It also applies to the highlight and shadow side of whatever it is, it's universal, whatever it is you're shooting. Fill on still life or even out in nature, you know, the, choosing the right time of day or whatever so that the contrast is balanced to what you're trying to say. So with that, that's a wrap. <laughs>